Hello, this is Eric Meyer with South Texas Sport Court. Thanks for tuning in to check out the installation of this wall mount basketball goal manufactured by Garrett Sports. This goal was installed in the summer of 2020 in a home gym just west of San Antonio. It has a six foot glass backboard and collegiate breakaway rim. This is the same type of glass backboard you will see in K through 12 schools as well as university gymnasiums. One of the unique features of this basketball goal is the side fold backstop, which allows the backboard to rest flat against the wall when not in use. Okay, let's get started. The first step in installing one of these systems is to attach the hardware to the buckboards. The buckboards are the two by eights that will be attached to the wall. Now, the buckboards come with the system from Garrett Sports. However, the buckboards that come from Garrett are six foot buckboards. On this particular job and on some of my other jobs, I like to get a longer 2x8 so that we're anchoring into additional wall studs. This is just simply going to distribute the load a little bit better by having longer buckboards. So the buckboards we're installing, we actually got at the hardware store. These are not the ones that came from Garrett Sports. So we attach the bottom one. This The bottom of that buckboard for us is about 9 foot, 9.5 inches off the floor. It's critical that we get that buckboard level that we get it the exact right height off of the floor, and that we get it centered exactly where that backboard is going to be. Now on this project, this gym is about 50 feet by 30 feet. That's the size of the basketball playing area. There's a little bit of space beyond that for other activities, but for our purposes, we're looking at that 50 foot section of wall, and we're wanting to put this backboard directly in the middle of that section. So we marked it out on the floor, shot a laser up, aligned these buckboards with the laser, uh, once the buckboards are up there, then we're going to start assembling some of the other components on the ground. As, as those components are assembled, we'll go back up at the lift and we'll bolt various things in place into those buckboards. So everything that goes between the wall and the backboard is called the backstop. If you're in a commercial gym where the backboard is hanging from the ceiling, then all of that hardware that connects the backboard to the ceiling, that's also the backstop. So backstops are available uh, as a wall mount like we have on this project or as a ceiling mount like you might see in a commercial gym or a school. And then of course, if you're looking at an NBA game or an arena, you're gonna see a, a floor portable system where there's a large ballast on the ground and everything is coming up from that. So it's not attached to the ceiling or the wall because both the ceiling and the wall are way too far away. So these black pipes that we're attaching to the buckboards, these actually telescope in and out, and then they lock in position with an Allen bolt. Once we get them locked where we want them, the correct distance from the wall so the backboard's in the right place, um, then we'll start getting everything ready to actually lift the backboard and attach it to that hardware, to those pipes. So we lift our backboards with a scissor lift. I would never attempt to do this with a ladder, ever, ever, ever. I, I suppose it could be done with scaffolding, though I think it would be very difficult. These glass backboards weigh about 200 pounds. This is definitely uh, helps to have two people on a project like this. Uh, I'm up on the scissor lift. I generally get up there and attach everything on the top of the backboard. I've got Herschel is helping me out on this project. He's working up and down the ladder, attaching things at the lower part of the backboard. Once we get the backboard attached, uh, we can disconnect it from the scissor lift and then we're going to make sure that 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 backboard is level that everything is centered so we want the backstop centered on the wall and then we want the backboard centered on the backstop so making sure that's all centered and tightened down uh, and the chains are adjusted the turnbuckles on the chains are adjusted to make the backboard level and also at the right height off of the floor of course, we're going, you know, we want the rim 10 feet off the finished floor. The finished floor is not put in the gym yet. It's still bare concrete. So this backboard's a little bit higher, about 9 sixteenths inch of about higher than, than what, it, what it ought to be. But once the gym floor goes in, it'll be just right. So we get everything attached, uh, get everything tightened down. Uh, there is a little bit of back and forth adjusting on these because as you... As you slide the telescoping backstop pipes in or out, that's going to change the level of the backboard. You have to adjust the chains, put the carpenter's level back up there, make sure it's plumb, make sure it's level. 
it, it again, it is a little bit of a repetitive process because every time you adjust one thing, it impacts something else. So once we get all that figured out, everything tightened down, uh, everything plumb, and we know that we're good, then the next step is to get in there and start um, locking it in place and then putting on putting on the rim, uh, putting on the additional hardware that keeps everything locked together. So those telescoping back uh, backstops, the telescoping pipes that go in and out, once we've, we've figured out we have this thing exactly where we want it, then we have to drill holes through those and stick a bolt through them so they can never move again. Uh, Herschel's up there on the lift drilling those holes and putting those bolts through. I'm working off the ladder at this point, putting the rim on. This is a collegiate breakaway rim. It's not a flex rim, so it's not going to be real springy and soft. It's going to be a very stiff rim. It is made to flex under dynamic energy load. So that means when you, if you hit it really hard and fast, in fact, this rim doesn't break away or, or flex until you've put, I think it's about 130 or 140 pounds of pressure on it. So it's quite a bit of pressure. An NBA rim, those, those don't flex until there's over 200 pounds of pressure on the rim. So just a little bit of background on how these rims work. So once the rim is on, then we put the backboard pad on. These backboard pads come in, I think, 15 or 16 standard colors. Uh, they are made for both 6-foot and 5-foot backboards. This, of course, is a 6-foot by 42-inch backboard. This is pretty standard. This is what we put up in almost every gym, whether it's a home gym or a commercial facility. We put a lot of these up in commercial facilities. Uh, this, this unit is a little unique in that, it, like I said earlier in the video, it's a side fold uh, mechanism uh, backstop, so it's going to fold to the side. They wanted to be able to fold this backboard out of the way in case they wanted to play volleyball or something else in the gym. However, the gym is mainly designed for basketball. It's not really even equipped for any other sports. Though you'll see in a subsequent video some of the stripes that we paint on the gym floor. We did paint the attack lines and a center court line for volleyball on the floor. Uh, but the court itself is only 30 by 50, so it's not really large enough, of course, for a full-size uh, basketball or volleyball court. It would be good for pickleball uh, or badminton. You could play either one of those within this gym. It's a little tight for pickleball, but it, but it could certainly work. Uh, we've, we've put pickleball qu courts in, in gyms this size before. So there's also some vertical supports on this backboard, uh, on the backstop, rather. I have no idea what they're for. Uh, that is definitely a question for Garrett's engineering department. I don't know what they do. I, I can't figure out any purpose for them whatsoever, but they do come with the backboard, so we, we put them on there. Uh, I'm working on the side fold mechanism that's down on the bottom there. That's the, the unit that um, is going to telescope in and out. So you unscrew it with that shepherd's hook to, to release the lock, then you can fold it out of place and then pull it back and lock it back in place. So this is the finished product. We'll have another video that shows the installation of the wall pads, the installation of the gym floor, the painting of the gym floor. We also have a longer extended version of this video. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a video, it's over one hour, it's not a time lapse. It's really showing you a lot more detail in how the backboard was installed. Anyway, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the video. We're not really looking to monetize this channel. Uh, it's way too niche. We don't ever expect to get any money from YouTube for this channel. We just want you to like it because if you like it and other people are maybe going to see it, it's maybe going to show up in search results. So if other people are looking for this information, they'll be able to find it. You're just helping other people by doing that. So again, thanks so much for tuning in. God bless. To learn more about our products and services, please visit SouthTexasSportCourt.com. Sport Court is a registered trademark. Various design characteristics of products manufactured by Sport Court are either patented or have patents pending. Though other products in the marketplace may look similar to Sport Court, these knockoff products do not provide the energy absorbing safety benefits, longevity, quality, or value that is provided by Sport Court surfacing and related products.